This is a graph of velocity versus time. Now change in velocity but divided by change in time should be the acceleration. Now we could find that just by putting this on the graph and finding the rise over run. Uh, but it'll be a lot easier if we just highlight some data and turn on a linear fit. So I'm going to turn on fit linear and it automatically fits all the data including this data point and this data point. I think I'll move the legend out of the way a little bit. So all I want to do is use the mouse to highlight. I'm just clicking and dragging and highlighting the linear data. Now the slope should be the rise over run which should be acceleration. 0.146 meters per second every second or meters per second squared. You can see that the data is pretty linear. Now it's not a good idea to only choose this much data. The numbers might be similar but think about it. If you were interested in a presidential poll and you just went out and you asked the first three people you saw, would that have as much um, reliability as if you asked this many people? So the idea is your uncertainty goes down, the uncertainty in the slope, with the more data that you select. Any d two data points is going to create a line. So make sure that you get all the good stuff there. Noticing I'm stopping before I get to those data points.